And but uh, she says we should be proud of her. Yeah, she's, definitely. She's actually 41. Yeah. She's yeah. a mother of two, and she's still doing so well. In the top five in Africa. In Africa, 207 in the world. Mm. Yeah, that's a bit low, but then, come on. Mm. Come she's on. been there, done nah, that. Now, come on, she's that longevity. Over 30 years. Longevity yeah. alone mm. is enough for one to be proud of, of her. And like you said, it's time for the young stars to actually step, step the up, game up right. and take over from her. Mm. She's not, she, does, she doesn't feel like retiring. She feels she still has what it takes to play at the very top in Nigeria. And so the honors is on the other players, the young ones coming up, you mm. know, to, to, to chase her off the, off the stage. I at agree. the moment, Right now, she is um, one of the best players in Africa, and I'm really, really proud of her. Definitely. For she to still be picked for, you know, the, the, mm. the best 16 players in Africa, she will be competing in that tournament. She has qualified for the Olympics, so it tells mm. you that when she has, she has a lot, so much to to offer. Let's go okay. back to <laughs> Germany, where uh, Olofuke Oshanaike is still standing by to speak to us. Uh, Funke, uh, welcome back again. You were saying something about uh, preparing for the Africa Top 16 in Sudan. Like I said, you know, during the um, All African Games in Congo, I was having some like um, some injury, and I never knew it's like a um, very very um, strong one. So when I came back to Germany, I started playing my my league. But unfortunately, after some time, you know, the thing the injury came back again. So to actually say the fact, you know, I've not really trained very hard for this competition, you know. But then, like you say, experience is better than every other thing. So if I sure should go, you know. I think I'm still going to use what I got here, you know. <laughs> That's the thing I've been using for all the young ones. You see the fact the younger ones are actually better than me, but most of them, they are not really, really so experienced like that. And that is what I've been using for them. So, hope of, yeah. I'm hoping that when I get there, I'm actually going to do my best and if I should go, because as, as of now, I'm not really sure if I, if I can go, because I don't want to actually go there and go mess up myself up. <laughs> but if I decide to go, you know, I know that one thing for sure, that when I start playing my competition, I'll put in my best, and I know for sure that if I don't get to the semi, I will get to the final. That is me. Hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, Funke, um, you've had a great career, and there's no doubt about that. But I want you to tell Nigerians how you've been able to balance uh, the family life as well as well as your professional uh, career oh my family i love talking about my family i have wonderful <laughs> wonderful wonderful boys you know i call them all of them like they are my boys i'm their mother here and they've actually been good to me especially my children my children they, they, they've been so 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 very 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 supporting you know they don't bother me if i tell them sit you know they sit you know if i tell them stand they stand and every time i have to do something they've been very very encouraging because it's not actually easy for me to be traveling all over and be leaving my boys here with that i don't have a mother i don't have a father i don't have a brother or sister here in germany so everything is like every time i, I travel that means my husband has to take care of my boys for me you know but then to say the fact they, they, they've, been, they've been good to me it has not been easy because every time i travel i'm always missing the them and I have to be calling them every, every time, mm -hmm. you know. But then God is my strength, and apart from that, I have my work because hey, Nigeria is not paying me here, so I need to do something to sustain right. myself here. So, but I'm lucky too because the work I'm doing, my 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 chef, okay, my boss, my boss has been so so kind to me too. So every time I talk to to her, you know, she's so good to me too. So all in all, in all, for me to balance all of them together, hey, it has not been easy. But then, hey. I'm every woman. I believe I can do I can do what I'm doing and that's why I'm still doing it. The moment my family starts suffering or that one thing or the other enemy starts suffering, that's the time I'm gonna give up. But right now things are still going on good for me. And as as long as things are going good for me, I think I have to continue doing what I love to do best. Okay, wonderful. Now, tell me about uh, when you were in primary four in Lagos. I mean, uh, the, uh, the, the the community primary school is now known as Olaolu Primary School in Lagos, Shomulu. Your headmaster actually honored you as the best student because you actually participated in a sporting event and you won. So, will you say that was actually the bedrock for you to follow table tennis to this particular level? Oh my God! Thank you for taking me back to my good old days. You know. <laughs> I wish things can be like that now, you know, but things have really, really changed. That has been fun. But when I was in primary school, it's just what I love doing, you know. And they, they, they were really, really so supportive. You know, though my school then very, very strict, because if I could remember, I remember a time I have to jump out of the fence to go and play table tennis, you know, because of the love I have for that sport. When I came back, they beat me, I cried. Even my daddy begged them not to beat me, my teacher beat me. But apart from that, that's education. Apart from that, they really, really encouraged me from my 
primary school to my secondary school, you know, you know, they, they, they've been so, so wonderful. Because if I could remember to in my secondary school, you know, that we have to go to um, all African games, I think in Egypt, then I had to leave Lagos to chorus thing for camping, you know, you know, changing of school. Things were very, very okay then. So that's why sometimes when I look at what is happening right now, I am so very, very disappointed. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, just on the light side now, light side, um, Shanaike. Um, if you had a chance to do this all over again, uh, would you choose um, table tennis or you rather do a sport like tennis? Considering oh, how rich God, the tennis players I, I are never, these days. I've never changed my sport. Look at it. This table tennis have taken me to everywhere. Though I don't have so much money, but I, I am I'm complete. I'm okay. But like me, my thing in life is that like money is not everything. If I get it, the most important thing for me is to be very, very comfortable. And I'm very, very comfortable. And I'm good with, with what I'm doing. What about if I go for long tennis? Okay, maybe there's so much money. But then look at the long tennis people in Nigeria too. Are they the world best or are they actually African champions? So table tennis for me, I am very, very satisfied. God gave me this talent. I'm doing what it is, and I don't want to change it for no other sport. I'm okay with it. You know what? <laughs> Keep being a little focused, oh, Thank dear. you so much for speaking to us. <coughs> all the best um, at the Africa Cup. If you get to participate, all the best, the massive one, the Olympics. And again, if you get a chance to go to Malaysia, Keep doing big things for Nigeria. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank take you. care. Oh. Take care, man. That's, that's, that's what she is. Yes. That's what she is. She's full of life, and that's what she takes to the table. Uh, you need to see the way she danced, like Odoanyo in Yaoundé. Even in Lagos, when she won uh, against Nadine, and then she danced, and... I like Funky Oshanaike because yeah. she's done so well Come for on. herself in her career. Come on, yeah. you just have to admire what she's achieved in her career. Her longevity, yeah. like I said, is That's out right. of this world. Right. She's been playing from, the, from when she started. She, to she played for the junior now. cadets in 1988. Yeah, it's very yeah. hard. It's very hard to maintain. So, so if you take all of her games, she won a gold medal. First yeah. place, 2007 yeah. in exactly. Nigeria, or just exactly. 2007. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, That's why, how she started her career. That's why I really don't agree with people saying, uh, uh, she should retire. She's yeah. still playing good table tennis. She got to the semi-finals at the Come last on. ITTF top yeah. 16. So if you get to the semi-finals, that means you're still in the top four in Africa. Yep. You know, she doesn't just go beyond the likes of Nadine and Dina Meshre from Egypt. I can understand that yeah, those ones, they are young. Really the top and ones, yeah. table tennis is top-notch in their country. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And if you check at the All-Africa Games, a silver medal, you know, with the team event, she, she, she won the one. Then the bronze medal, of uh, that's third place, for single for herself. And of course, doubles event. A missed double, she, she won uh, at silver medal, bronze medal in the the, the um, uh, doubles event. Of course, it, it shows that okay, she's still up there. Mm. Yes, no doubt. And um, Austin and Cecilia, who was um, instructed to hear her say, uh, "Tip tennis is a talent." And That's right. There's no way she's going to give it up uh -huh. for tennis because uh -huh. she can't give what she can't have. Cecilia, yeah. back to you again. Yeah. If you don't have it, you can't give it. Strength to show what she's saying. Yeah, that's what she's saying. She doesn't saying. mess around with her training. Tyler, you're missing it. I'm you're not missing, missing it. Nothing. Like, sometimes you just have back love to... for something. Okay, let's not go yeah, back. Let's not go back to the look of Fulu Fuki or Shana Ike. Get it ready. She's preparing hard. She's working so hard, and she's doing it with Shagun Toriola just to also let our viewers know that Aruna Quadri, Shagun Toriola, Olufunke Oshanaike and Edema of Young, they will feature at next month's Africa Top 16, as she's just mentioned, you know, and it's another opportunity for the NSC to give support to table tennis. Absolutely, Austin. Yeah, you said they will feature. What we know for sure is they have been listed uh, mm. for the competition. Whether they will actually participate is still no, yet they, to be they, answered. They, they, they will, still, because... Uh, what do you mean? One thing, all the, uh, 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 now, did you hear what she said? Yeah. They don't know if they're going or not. Okay, okay take a look at what happened in Cameroon. Know. You know, Nigeria couldn't go for the team's event yeah. and all that. But these players took themselves event because they know that but this one is only going to be a step for them to qualify for the big one. At the last, at the last, um, the at the last Cup top for, 16, yeah. I don't know if went there on his own bill. So, Funke went there on her own bill. So, um, so Kazimi, Kazimi, Kazimi Marco Jola on his own base yeah. went there on his own bill. So how long? So Shagun Toriola, when you're looking at Shagun Toriola, I don't know Kodri, uh, Ephraim Edem, and of course Cecilia, uh, yes, not Cecilia, uh, not Cecilia, but Edem of Young. Edem of Young and of course uh, Funke. The four of them definitely would just want to take themselves there because Funke and of course Kodri, they've qualified for the Olympics. That's right. This will also so be they always need to prepare. They wouldn't want to lose out on the continent. 
Is she president representing Funke country? She's representing the Federal the Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria. So this saying, is where we should start you know, showing when, when you, concern when, when, as a country. When, when you, give them support. The NSC should step up now. Give them support. Monitor their progress. You know why we should what even give... What happens when the support doesn't come? What should they well, do? Well, no they doubt. Should but, they but should it, doesn't, come. it doesn't mean that someone should just continue with this. It has to yeah, change. I understand that. Now, Shagun Toriola is going to Sudan to see if he can pick the last qualification spot for the yeah. Olympics. Should he get it, he will break record as the only African oh, yes. to feature the Olympics for a record seventh yes. time. As a country, we should rally around him so, now. So right now, what um, Shagun awesome. Torella should be doing is focusing on his game, yeah. not focusing on how to get money or how to get the means to travel to that competition. That's right. Welfare That's should be it. top notch. Someone yeah. should be calling him, put him in the proper mental on state, saying, oh, how is your conditioning? Oh, look at, uh, this, this is Omar Asa. This is the way you can. He defeated Omar Asa at the African Games, remember, that gave us yeah. gold yeah. in the yeah. team tournament. Yeah. So if he yeah. can beat Omar Asa at his age, it means the quality is still there. It's support that is missing. So, surely, okay. you're you're right about that. Yeah. So, the NSC, uh, they've got to step to the plate now and do what's right mm. uh, for Shonaike and Toriola and the likes. Mm. Okay, we're still, we're still waiting and uh, talking about uh, table tennis in Africa uh, yeah. with an eye on the 2016 Olympics. Yes, yeah, like... we like Nigeria, we like yeah, our sure, players, yeah. but <laughs> we also love Africa. Yeah. And then Dina Meshrev, she's top player in Africa. She's also saying, look, I can't be winning in Africa and I get to the big <laughs> stadium and I don't win. She's done so well for her career and she's still young. And she's saying, look, bring on the, the Olympics challenge. I'm here, I'm ready for it.